Warning, this program contains a sense of humor that some people might not share. Viewer discretion is advised. This episode also contains crazy hidden messages if played backwards. They're also there if you play it forwards, just not so hidden. found three human heads in his gym bag. The defendant claimed he was just holding them for a friend. Yeah, 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 get to the sports highlights. And now on the lighter side, the aging Russian space station Shovkin is expected to fall out of orbit and plunge back to Earth tonight. Wow, that sure would incinerate a lot of innocent people if it landed in a populated area. That's right, it would. But the Russians assure us that they've programmed the enormous piece of flaming space junk to land in the middle of nowhere, as far from civilization as possible. Huh. Looks like they kept their word. Look at all this high-tech space stuff. Smash the smithereens. There's gotta be something I can use. I got a pack of freeze-dried forks and three souvenir pins of Ryza the Space Dog. I'm done, let's go. Holy crap! It's the space station's nuclear power plant. Hmm. Hmm. It even tastes terrible freeze-dried. There's enough activated plutonium here to make an atomic bomb. Whoa. Think of the awesome power. Let's use it to blow up some mailboxes. Ah. A person with physics training could use this to build a bomb that would wipe out an entire city. And all its mailboxes? This is serious stuff. If this were to fall in the wrong hands... <laughs> I've got to hide it. Now! You have to keep this a secret, okay? Terrorists would stop at nothing to get a hold of activated plutonium. Right. A secret. But I can tell Jacques, right? No. Angus? No. That guy at the gas station who smells like corn? No! Dog pins and the borscht. That is all? As you can see, I got all the good stuff. What about Frank? Did he find something too as well? Nah, just enough plutonium to build an atomic bomb and something else I'm not supposed to mention to anybody. Or was that what I wasn't supposed to mention? Eh, whatever. Yes, sir. It crashed just outside this town. No, no harm done. It's in Canada, remember? It was powered by what? My god! I'll head over to the crash site immediately. Don't worry, sir. There's no one in this godforsaken place who'd even know what plutonium is. It's that radioactive stuff, right? There was a bright flash and a big scary boom. Did you happen to see where the big scary boom was? That way. But if you're looking for cool stuff to steal, it's too late. I got it all. And anyway, the borscht was pretty gross. Oh, and Frank got the plumodium. But don't tell anyone, eh? He's planning to build a bomb or something, and he wants to keep it a secret. He's what? At least I think that's what he said. Uh, let's see. Plutonium. Terrorist. Bomb. Yep, that's it. Oh, uh, don't panic. Washington doesn't have to know. Where does this Frank live? A shed on the edge of town. You can't miss it if you know exactly where to look. <sighs> Fifteen minutes from don't tell anyone, Dale, to this. That might just be a new record. Is there anyone he hasn't told? By the powers of the Anti-Terror Act, I am declaring a code red and putting you under arrest without counsel. Huh? Who is in there? Look. Just hand over the atomic bomb and we'll pretend this never happened. I don't have an atomic bomb. And even if I did, I wouldn't give it to you. You have no authority here. Authority? I am the Assistant Deputy American Ambassador to Canada. You want to see authority? I'll show you authority, Buster. Just as soon as I get permission. Hey, mister, can I see your bomb? 
drop a thousand leaflets on the countryside. Why? If we're gonna send the plane up, we may as well fill it with something that explodes. Big news, Mr. Secretary of Defense, sir. The cafeteria has meatloaf today? Thank God. Uh, bigger than that, sir. We just learned that a small town in Canada has weapons of mass destruction. This isn't just some bogus evidence the CIA concocted for laughs. Oh, it's genuine. Our contact inside the town just called. Well, hell, let's start bombing the crap out of them. Uh, we might want to get some actual proof first, sir. What's the point in having the most powerful military in the universe if we can't stomp a few backwaters once in a while? Fine. If the world needs proof, I'll get him proof. see this, but there it is, plain as day. The secret is to defocus your eyes. It's a horsey, see? Oh, yeah, horsey. And here's the satellite photos from that town in Canada, sir. Oh, damn it. Now I can't focus at all. Oh, man. Call the UN. Tell them we got all the evidence we need. We're going to bomb the snot out of those Canucks. <laughs> it is a buffet of wonder! Moira's winnings are up to $45. And then we'll make an incision along the hairline, tighten her cheeks and jowls, suck out a few jars of subcutaneous fat. In this special broadcast from the UN, the United States of America will present evidence that this small Canadian town has weapons of mass destruction and obvious ties to a... Making sure our egg whites are nice and frothy, we then fold them into the batter... Wait! Go back! Finally, we would refashion her nasal cartilage to give her a more classic bridge in her nose. She doesn't need surgery. She just needs to wash her hair once in a while. Where do they find these jerks? We've had our spy satellites trained on Chile Beach, and we now present irrefutable proof of the presence of weapons of mass destruction. Slide number one. This is clearly a shot of a bomb manufacturing facility with dozens of highly skilled technicians reporting to work. This is obviously some sort of bomb testing site. Now note the test detonations. A parade of missiles down Main Street. A uh, quick product placement. Uh, gotta pay the bills, you know. And uh, finally, a high-tech missile silo. As you and I can see, the citizens of Chile Beach are developing and stockpiling a nuclear arsenal. Oh, oh, oh. The United States of America has all the evidence we need to begin the obliteration of Chile Beach using some pretty cool stuff we just developed. We've got this one missile, holy moly. Before we unleash the awesome might of the U.S. military, we really should get independent U.N. confirmation of the weapons. You know, if only for the optics. Oh, all right. But make it quick. Welcome to my own special tale. Canada. I thought you were going to wait until we confirm the presence of weapons before demolishing the town. This is how it always looks. Oh. Wow. So as I'm sure you all saw on TV this morning, we have enough evidence to start a major military campaign against you primitive losers. That was on TV? Unfortunately, the UN, being a bunch of candy-ass do-goodniks, still insist on conducting a complete search of the town. Ah, oh, go ahead, look all you want. We have nothing to hide. Just do not be checking the expiration dates on my meat. 
No, 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 not that there's anything wrong with them, eh? <laughs> They'll be looking everywhere. Sacre bleu! Excusez. But why everywhere? Because if you say they can look everywhere but one particular place, then that's where you'll hide the things you don't want them to find, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> that's pure criminal genius. I'd never have thought of that. No weapons of mass destruction in Chili Beach. Oh, and uh, that you shouldn't screw with polar bears. Johnson's funeral is tomorrow. You found no weapons? Not even one? No, sir. Aha! Now that means they're hiding them really well. That's all the proof I need. And then, after I married my father, I started having an affair with my aunt. <laughs> Try my new diet plan for three weeks, and if you don't lose... Special News Bulletin. Oh, I hate those. They're always about some stupid news thing. Hey, hey, hey! Regarde, it is Frank on the tv vision What? And today, the United States has given him an ultimatum. What's that? Some kind of new car? Either evil warlord Frank Shackelford and his fiefdom Chili Beach hand over their weapon of mass destruction, or the U.S. will invade with the full might of its military, which, frankly, would be great for our ratings. And we're not kidding. Hand them over, or your asses are toast. Oh, the creatures! <laughs> Welcome to Countdown to Oblivion. There's now less than 48 hours until possibly the most horrific annihilation of a civilization since the firebombing of Dresden. And we'll be here bringing you all the action. 48 hours? That means I only have... Like two weeks to live! Two days. What? That doesn't give me enough time to accomplish all the stuff I wanted to do in life. I need at least a week. Frank, you gotta give him your bomb. But I don't have a bomb! Well, maybe you should just build one. But then I would have a bomb, and that would make them right. And you can give it to them. What's the problem? I don't know. Give me the plutonium, and I'll make the bomb. I'll also need a hammer and that old cooler you don't use anymore. Fine. Then give me the Pluto blah, 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 and I will make the bomb. Also, I will need your blowtorch. And... Maybe a long rubber hose, if you got one. Will everyone stop saying that? If anyone's making the bomb, it's gonna be me! Did you hear that, everyone? Frank's gonna make the bomb! Yay! Yay! bomb! Sorry to interrupt your playtime, Canadians, but I need to know what this dump's worth. Pourquoi? When this is all over, whether you give us the bomb or we drop a bunch of them on you, you losers will be what we like to call a conquered people. That means we'll toss you a few million, maybe, for your rebuilding and repatriation phase. It's the American way. Replacement grease pit restaurant. Let's say 40 bucks. Canadian. <gasps> a few million dollars? Just for rolling over and giving them a bomb Frank could slap together in his sleep? USA! 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 And our countdown to oblivion is now at 36 hours. Why not invite the gang over to watch the explosive action as it comes to you live? And in color! How's it going? Almost done? Almost done? Building a nuclear weapon isn't a piece of cake, you know. You have to install a sophisticated detonation device. And you need a particle accelerator for that. Which means I have to make one from scratch. I didn't think it had to be a real live working bomb. I'm not handing in substandard work. They'll laugh me out of the physics club. And the constant distractions. Look at all the junk mail I've started to get. Congratulations. 
You might already be a wealthy, psychotic despot. Even maniacal warlords need a vacation once in a while. Come to beautiful, relaxing North Korea. Oh. I've even been invited to join the Poison Gas of the Month Club. Hmm. And then there's all the interruptions. Singing telegram for Frank Shackelford. <sighs> yeah, that's me. Come on, Frankie, you're the one. Join our evil axes for lots of fun. We're bloodthirsty mad men who rule with terror. If you don't join us, then that's your error. And I never know what to tip. I'm totally stressed. Look, my hair is starting to fall out. Although I suppose it could be from the radiation, I haven't really had time to build a proper shield. Wow! Can I rub my back on that thing? It would really help me out. Yes, Mr. President. First, we rattle him with the cruise missile. Now, we'll call that the holy crap stage. Then, we get the Air Force to drop about a billion tons of standard ordnance, plus maybe a few thousand gallons of napalm for effect. Then, we send in the Navy, since by now, everything's melting, and we're not sure there's even land under all that snow. <laughs> the countdown to oblivion is now at a mere three hours. I hope you've all stocked up on plenty of chips and soda, because this is one big can of whoop-ass we're about to unleash. And for the sake of balance, I'm supposed to add, war is hell, oh, the humanity. And now to our correspondent in the field, are you there, Sue? Yes, I'm here in Chili Beach. And what's the mood there, Sue? Oddly, it seems to be one of euphoria. The town appears to have gone on some wild spending spree. On credit, apparently. There. Done. Hmm. Something's not quite right. I can't put my finger on it. Because I'm afraid it's hot. It's not hot. Oh, good. I know. If you want them to believe it's a real bomb, you gotta paint something cool on the side. Like, uh, like hasta la vista. Or, uh, or catch you later, jerks. Ooh, that's catchy. Forget that. The deadline is less than an hour away. But that's how they do it in all those war movies. It's not gonna look real. No way. I'm getting those UN people right now. You better be serious about this. I've got a chopper to catch. I am. In full accordance with the demands of the United Nations, I humbly surrender my weapon of mass destruction. But... Oh my but, god! This is a trick, isn't it? You're taking me hostage! Well, forget it, commie, or whatever you are. Cyanide pill! You'll never take me alive! No, wait! Lucky for you, that was a mint. Where'd it go? Heads up! No. If you can read this, you're about to be blowed up. Oh, man, I'm gonna need more paint. Just 13 minutes until we are all millionaires! It is time we start eating like the rich people eat, no? Bottoms are up! Whoa! <coughs> <coughs> Ah, you are paying for that. I only chew on it twice. Shark, where's Dale? Have you seen Dale? No, Desolé. I have not seen him. Not since ten minutes ago, when he came in with the big bomb and borrowed my paint and my brush. Since then, I have not seen him at all. Oh, my God! Okay. These punks had their chance. Now get me the hell out of this godforsaken place. Hmm. That's it. That's perfect. Dale! Oh, crap. You made me screw up my D. Just 50 more seconds until we unleash the dogs of war. 49, 48, 47. You might want to start your VCRs, because this is going to be spectacular. Let's get ready to rumble. What exactly does this do, anyway? <laughs> Quit doing that and, and help me. It has to be readable. Slow down. 
<laughs> Sweet! Take that, whoever this falls on! would screw this up somehow. Hold your fire, I guess. Don't push the big button! The, the, they, they capitulated! Capitulated now? Well, I guess if I was about to die, I'd want a little action myself, but... Er, uh, no, no, sir. They, they surrendered, you know, more or less. So, that means we won? Well, I suppose so, sir, yeah. Well, all right then. Very well, uh... <clears throat> No, uh, no bombing at all, Lynn. Good. Very, uh, yeah, very good. Can't we blow up a few things anyway? Maybe some old stadium in Pittsburgh needs demolishing. Uh, retired General Jones, uh, can you give us your expert analysis on whether the countdown proceeded uh, smoothly? Did eight follow nine the way you expected it to? Honestly, <laughs> give it a turn away. Everybody, I just got our rebuilding money from the U.S. Yeah. Yay! How much is it? A million? A billion? It's for the total of eighty-six dollars and twenty-seven cents. Eighty-six dollar and twenty-seven cents. Still, that's enough for like three cases of beer. USA! USA!